Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. Pictured here is an axe, because hey, you gotta get the axe, though. There's neighbors, uh, clomping around again. Alright, so what do I have on me again? Mysterious plastic object. So let's go give this to the fish, see what they say about it, huh? Every time. Unhelpful. Where has Sadero gone? I've been saying his name with a D sound because of the Brooklyn accent, but it's Seitaro. I should mention. I know I'm not a Bakar Gaijin. Okay, storeroom key. Open the storeroom. Hmm. So if he, so let's, let's try to pick this apart and maybe analyze it. His wife found out that he was a weird creepazoid. I don't even know where the grandma features in here. So we're going to wait until, uh, we're going to wait until we find out more about her. But his wife found out that she, that this guy was a weird creepazoid and she shouldn't have married him. Um, she divorced him and took the kids at some point hmm, at some point do you want this? It's still locked. Oh, maybe this goes to the uh, to the clock. He mentioned that he was missing something to work on it, right? Yeah, I didn't really think so either, but I was hopeful. Anyway, she takes the kids. The kids at some point fall into a river, and she drowns trying to follow them. Maybe he keeps them in tanks. What did the wind up key get to? The precious item that protects me. I may not be able to get to it now. Hmm. Very strange. got to be so scary sounding. Also, couldn't I have used that mop to pick up that thing? Perhaps I need to be outside to find a stick. That would make sense, actually. Still nothing. Cool. Cool, cool. A lot of horror games of this era are really just adventure games with a scary bent. Like, boy, look at Alone in the Dark. That is the most, like, adventure game that is kind of scary ever. Shower. Maybe this is the shower thing. Because it looks like a little cap or a button. So maybe I need to, like, screw it onto something.
I don't suspect that this will work. See, luckily for me, I'm built different, so in a horror situation, I don't need to worry about it. Again, that looks like a weird creepman. I wonder if I can put this back in. The fish like it, right? All right, walk through time. Towards a passcode. Okay, it was here. Get the study key from the bath. Oh, I don't think I ever finished clearing the study. That might be it. Because I know I got the key, but maybe there was some more stuff in here. Okay. Can we get the mega? Oh, I can go ask Seidoro what the what the Japanese says. Which makes sense because I missed this here. Okay, so what am I? The study. Of course. How could I have been so stupid. Oh boy, here we go. A wind up key. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Up. Hey, wake up. Get a hold of yourself. What are you lazing around down there for? Get up. Yuka, you're okay? You're back to normal? Yeah, it was cold and hurting and I couldn't move, but... You... You big stupid. You had me so damn worried. Oh, she had an accent, right? Sorry about that. If you're okay, then screw the map. You're hungry, I'll bet. We got snacks, so you better eat up and get strong. Yeah, but hold on for a second. Maybe you've been figuring it out already, but I learned it. The secret of this house. Secret? What do you mean? I'll let you in on it. You see... I'm a host... <laughs> I'm a hostage. Huh? Ren? Ren? Please help me. I'm cold. And it hurts. Yuka, what's up? Hey! No, it's not me. Please let go of me. I'm cold. So cold, so cold, so cold, so cold. You... Oh, she gooped! Don't run away. Help me, please. I'm emitting so much goop. Return me. Return me, return me, return me, return me. Yuka... Ugh. Hey, get off! Quit nodding off, you bumpkin! <laughs> Sadero? What are you- where's Yuka? Where'd Yuka go? Wake up, you dummy. She's still in bed, isn't she? We still have to get her to a hospital. I ain't so brazen to take a nap in this filthy place. So, I don't suppose you found a map? Well, not yet, but, uh, I was unconscious? Tell me you fell down and not got knocked out? There's no hope for you. Shut up. Have you found anything? Nope, not yet. I'm down the other place has a map, so I'm going to search here now. There's a study here. 
Oh, okay. So we'll come find him and tell him about things. What's up? You look like you're sick. Did you eat something off the floor or what? Is that a dream? But it seems so real. I thought Yuka was really cured. Secret. What secret? What is Yuka trying to say? Even if it's just a dream, I wanted to know. Well, whatever. Rest of your tired. Search if you aren't. Counting on you. So there's this mirror with dragon, monkey, boar, like the signs of the zodiac. What do you think it means? Maybe it has to do with time. Time. People used to use Jun... Junijishin, a system of representing time with Zodiac. Dragon is 8 p.m. 8 a.m. Monkey is 4 p.m. Bear is 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. I remember reading about that in um uh, The Tale of Genji. They say, like, um... They say that something is, like, monkey hour. And I was like, what the fuck does monkey hour possibly mean, dude? <laughs> Don't know why they would write that, though. What do you think this is? Plastic button? Maybe it's for a machine. Actually, there's that motorboat. Maybe it's the start button. You think? Can't be sure, but it did seem to be missing a button. Mmm. Interesting. So we got the wind-up key, so now we can go do the clock. Sure enough, missing a button on the driver's seat. Good on Sadero to notice. Perfect fit. It was the button. What's the point? Got no use for a boat, right? Maybe we'll fight Cthulhu with it. There is a real Cthulhu mythos story wherein Cthulhu is defeated by getting bonked on the head via a boat. It's a real thing. The real Lovecraft wrote that. And at the time, it was because steamships were the biggest, like, the biggest, scariest thing in the world. Especially to... You know, Lovecraft. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Maybe it's the clock at the old house. I kept coming back to that one because it's the only one accessible from, like, floor level in the main house. But there is a clock in here, I think. Or below the clock. Won't well, open, but the diary said there was something in the clock. Okay. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. Oh! You just toggle it. Okay. Okay, yeah. 8, 4, 10. What do you want, goblin? It opened. A bottle of liquid. Ooh, maybe I'll drink it. It'll be goodies. What could you possibly be doing, you little rat bastard goblin boy? What's this bottle of liquid? Found this bottle. You know what it is? Let me borrow it. It's hydrochloric acid. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Glug, glug, glug. Look, it's the acid that's in my stomach already. I'm just helping my stomach out. Would you find something like this? Hydrotrop... What does that mean? Is that dangerous? If you have a use for it, you can keep it. But don't be a dumbass and slather it on your skin. It'll melt you. Okay. So if I have something that I gotta fucking melt... Got the in on it now. I've got to go kick my cat out one moment. All right, we're back in. I have kicked my bastard boy son out. Is this it? Get these planks off. So melt it with acid? 
Melt iron, right? I guess. Kind of a weird piece of logic. I imagine that I would have found a nail puller, you know? Way at least for now, let's rip them off. Planks. Phew. Thank goodness I've got planks now. Of all things, why a why acid to melt the planks? Okay. So what do I got on me now? Okay, back to where I was earlier. Murky ass fish tank. A gun. A landline. Desk. Another diary. I've lost the boiler room key. I have a spare, but I must be careful. The maids said they know nothing. I cannot trust them. The maids tried to sweep the fireplace in the large hall. I was harsh with them. Are they trying to be tactful? I warned them never to go to it again. I must be more cautious in the future. Golf bag. Oh, good. And a toolbox. A hammer. <laughs> that was a... That's, I don't think that's a very good JPEG of a hammer, to be honest with you. I love her little face, like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> How the phone ring? There's no power, so how in the... Hello? I'm sorry. Yuka? Is that you, Yuka? Yuka? I don't hear anything anymore, but that was Yuka's voice for sure. I gotta get to where Yuka is. Kind of a weird way to write that. So what do I got on me now? I got the hammer. It just occurred to me that I don't trust something. Okay. Axe Coon is still here. And then there was another thing that I needed a stick for. Was it this? Okay. Not getting anything unless I go to Yuka. Makes sense. I hope I didn't screw anything up by putting the button on the boat too soon. Jesus! Hey, Yuka. Oh, God, her face skin is melting off. No! You mook. Ren, what happened? Jesus! Yuka? Are you okay? <laughs> Ren, get outside. I don't... Yuka, get out already. Huh. Is Yuka? No good. Her body couldn't stay intact. Her skin was torn. Even her organs. Ugh. Why did this happen? Okay. So I was wrong to do that. If I hadn't lit the fireplace. That's not true. Her death wasn't your fault. Yuda, you were in your room? Guess what happened? Oh, our friend melted, NBD. Something happened to Yuka? Yuta, the truth is... And we hear a gunshot. Hey, Yuta. It tore. Ugh. Huh? It tore, 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 tore. Itore. Maybe that's what it says, huh? Ah! Oh. Well, not a gunshot. Yuta. 
Not you too. Don't speak. I'll stop the blood now. The wound's pretty deep. Did you cut through the artery? I'm holding it down, but the blood won't stop. Man, imagine if the creepy guy is not the villain and he just comes home and like... Sater, why am I all bloody? Did you get like... Okay, so yeah, I mentioned this earlier. What if it's not that like... What if there is a sort of possession going on and like people just be one person becomes the rich guy and one person becomes the mermaid and like he freaked out and killed himself and now he's back to being himself because we, we screwed up the sequence. We made it so the mermaid could die before she got into the tank. I put some sheets over him, but don't go in the dining room, okay? Man, what a social faux pas to kill yourself while you're at a guest while you're a guest. I'm gonna going out I'm gonna go out to get help. Huh? I've had enough of this. I don't want to see my friends dead. I just want to get out. You can't do that. You haven't tried walking out there, have you? I tried before, but you just can't find your way. Make the wrong step, it could be a disaster. I know how you feel, but you don't have, you just have to put up with it. Please. Get some rest. You don't have to push yourself right now. All right. To be honest, I do feel better that one person is dead. Who cares if I get lost in the mountains? I don't want to be here anymore. Let's go. Even if I'm just walking blindly, I'm sure to find something. Oh, and she's got her anime, like, hooded eyes thing going on. It's kind of silly, but mountain shell's not this way. Damn. So... I wonder how I get around lighting the fire. Mm-hmm. Is the blob ghost going to possess me next? I imagine that would make sense, and then I'm going to be a gross fat mermaid beast. Getting kind of stuck in here, huh? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I just got, like, stuck there. I had to do a weird little zigzag. Another blob ghost. Oh boy. It's like the least stealthy ghost ever. I imagine that his footsteps are like wet and sloppy, so he's just like. Every time he steps. No more. I can't walk any further. I'm so it's I walked for at least two minutes. Where am I? I don't know how to get back to the mansion. Tired. I'm cold. My body's freezing. Am I going to die just like this? I guess that's fine. <laughs> Very uh, is fair. Lysia is fair about this. Because Yuka and Yuta are already gone. Both of you, I'm sorry. I should have done better for you. This wouldn't have happened. Yuka and Yuta, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Satoru. Where's this going? You insist on leaving? Oh, this is probably the old man and his wife, huh? Can't stay any longer. Living with that secret is more terrifying than death. Even if the curse kills you. I'm not worried about curses. My children are what's important, and they're going to be brought up right, not with things like that around. So long. Take care on your way.
You leaving? Stepmother, thank you for all you've done. Stepmother? I wanted to flee myself. Many times I had the thought. But I was afraid to die. I would much rather live keeping a secret. Go somewhere far away, as far as you can manage. Somewhere their delusions cannot reach. Interesting. Mother, will we be cursed? Never a good thing to have your kid. Mother, will we be killed, I say? I don't know. Well, anyway. Brush your teeth, kids. You might be killed by a demon curse. She's not in the old mansion. She went to the mountains, didn't she? I told her not to, damn it. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, though. We're just playing as a uh, Seder right now. Hmm. Luckily, the smart protagonist went around and solved most of the problems beforehand. Haven't been in this room in a while. Imagine there's not much going on. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know what the forward path should be. Logically, I would follow her. But I feel like that might lead to something, considering I now know that, like, some stuff can happen, you know? Also, as far as I know, Sadaro is not subject to any weird goings on. Or should that be subject? Um, this is a completely different path. Hmm. Because, yeah, we've only been seeing things from Ren's point of view. Wow, that was easy. This is a village? I didn't find anything like this before. Oh, God, is this going to be like an Uzumaki village? Thank goodness I can get help here. Can you? It's a village. Should try one house at a time. Mm hmm. Damn, nobody home? Excuse me, madam. We were staying at the landlord's house, but a friend of mine went missing. Is that right? That's quite the pickle. Lots of bad things in that house. Uh, you see, one of the friends who was staying with us went missing. Would you happen to have any? Must have been sad. Must have been hateful or bitter. Are you listening to me? <laughs> you know, there's more frightening things there. What goes unseen? Far more terrifying than that what is... That said Rin Yamazaki. Was that just... Was that supposed to say that? Shall I tell you? You see that place. Be gone, outsider. What the? I gotta talk to strangers, huh? Ridiculous. Fantastic. Oh, what's this? A gravesite? Old tombstone with a legible name. And a signboard. It's really faded. Suchita family gravesite. That's the old man's name. 
Give our family protection eternally. Malice already transforms something in human, yada yada. How does this say? It seems strange for a regular gravesite. Blob ghost. Or possibly the ghost of something that uh, tells you what bathroom to go into. Is there something there? Or maybe it's just me. Wow, we took a roundabout way to f meet each other. Rin! Rin, you okay? Get a hold of yourself. Chosen one. She's still breathing. Good. I like his cleavage. Mm-hmm. Do you know the story? Story of the mermaid who died in that house. Pity her. Pity her. As loved as she may have been, death is always the end. What you can't see is more terrifying than what you can. That's why, you understand? You ought not dare come near. That swamp, that house, bring only woe. Oh. You goddamn idiot. I kept telling you not to go, didn't I? With your lack of direction. Feeling all right? It's pretty chilly in the mountains. You better not have caught a cold. Or mermaiditis. See... I wasn't sure earlier, but uh, Yuka's face seemed to get a little more like ruddy, like more pink or like. um, And it kind of looks like that's the case here. Which is uh, not good. I'll keep searching, but you get some rest. OK. It's the curse. Ya palooka. It's all the mermaid's curse. That's why that happened to Yuka and why Yuta went nuts. The mermaid hates the people of this house, but she can't touch them, so she goes for outsiders like us. Oh, interesting. Restrin, there's no such thing as curses. You're tired and thinking crazy things. We'll find a map as soon as, and get out of here. We're almost at our rope's end. Ugh. Sedora, what's up? It's nothing. Just kind of got a headache. Never mind me. Just rest. Here we go. has to be the curse i can't think of anything else even my weird dreams the mermaid what do i do about it what are you trying to tell me to do mermaid mermaid swamp swamp maybe there's a connection with the legend in the swamp you don't say considering it takes place here yeah, your face is still kind of shadowy oh god it's been a while again um great Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Mermaid Swamp. Uh, strange things are happening. It's kind of going in a direction that I really did not anticipate. Um, which I guess is why this got recommended to me. But uh, hey, I've been Alfred. This has been Mermaid Swamp. Happy Halloween, everyone. And I hope you all have a good day. See ya.